This morning we expect to find out fresh information about a man accused of setting off an explosive device by a tree on the UNC campus. That device went off, injuring the man who tried to put out the fire. UNC police officers teamed up with law enforcement in the area to investigate after finding that man's car in Carborough. Eyewitness News is working for you to get answers on all this. Gloria Rodriguez breaks down the questions we're asking today. Gloria? Uh, yes, John. Well, there are many questions, especially about that suspect. Right now, police are only telling us that they believe he's a former student. We want to show you what happened yesterday. Take a look. Oh, my God. This explosion erupting after a fire at UNC's Tree of Knowledge. In this ABC 11 eyewitness video, you can see a man trying to put out the flames when it exploded. A witness tells us the man fell to the ground with burns. He was taken to the hospital. Meanwhile, authorities surrounded the suspect. Eyewitnesses say he yelled, Hail Satan, after the fire and explosion. ATF agents, the SBI bomb squad, and UNC Chapel Hill police moved in to investigate. Authorities clearing a public parking lot off of West Weaver Street in Carborough, where the suspect's car was parked. Using a bomb squad and robot, they discovered there was nothing dangerous in the car. And back here live, that tree is located behind the old well. I just walked up to it, and there's still crime tape around it. You can see that picture on my Twitter page, Gloria ABC 11. Back to the studio. Gloria, thank you. And our coverage of the events in Chapel Hill and Carborough continues right now on ABC11.com. You'll find a photo gallery showing the moments after that explosion on the campus, as well as eyewitness video. Look for the story right on the homepage.